I love it, mate. It's funny. So it follows the pattern. So if we go back over here, we get my XOR that I figured out today. Whoop. Because you can't cross the activations, I managed to make it like these. Look at this. So we go from an activation into a knot and then across into the and. Yeah, I, and the you same know, on I really the other think side. that for a lot of things that StarMate does, that's going to be the answer is going to be through extra knots and yep. activation modules has solved lots of problems on, you know, it solved yeah. the Y-hole clock, it solved mm -hmm. several other things that we were having difficulty with, so I think that that's a smart That's what gave back. me the idea, mate, when I was sat there scratch, because I didn't understand why it didn't work, and then they told me why it didn't work, and then I was like, oh, that's what happened when we were making the Y-hole clock, so yeah, yeah. extra knot. And not in the yeah, middle you know, solves it's it. Just, one has to be careful not to. And like I say, to... we we tested it against the XOR uh, logic table, which is zero zero zero. So zero zero zero, uh, zero one 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 zero one. Yep, yeah, and one one zero, which was the trick. That was the trick. The last one was getting it to go back, and it works. So that's fixed. And then, of course, nice. you know what Seven I did. Blocks. Yeah, and you know what I did, of course. Compacted it into a miniaturized one, which you'll see in a minute. But, of course, I had to make a negative one with that. But don't worry, there's something else funky first. Look at this. It's an or, and, not, and, and. And look at the logic table it gives. It just gives a funky logic table. Look. Nought, 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 one, nought, one, nought, one, 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 one. Huh? Yeah. No. Huh, so yeah, let's it's see here. yeah. Have, wait, is, I think it's is it auto saving? No. Give it a, give it a go. See if you can you can you activate it. It might be factioned. No, you can do it. No, it's letting me. So naught naught is oh yeah one one is should be so that's one. That's the or. That's gonna be on. Something's not working. <laughs> I think there's a bit of lag still. There you go. Naught naught naught. Yeah. One naught one. Nought one nought, yeah, and one one. Oh, I see, because that side's that side's yeah. knotted, and this side's a word. That's and, cool. Uh, one one zero, it didn't work. It's not working. Look, oh no, up, oh, oh, up, went. <laughs> one one doesn't work. Oh no, this one's broken. No, it's broken. Uh, well, I gotta do Does it. Have to do the order in which they're tripped. I've gotta do it. Sorry, this one needs to be fixed. It probably needs an extra knot like before, but don't worry, we're not here to fix them. We're just here to just show them off at the moment for the video. So look at this. That one's broken, guys. One 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 doesn't work. Wow. <laughs> That's a shame, because this one gives quite a useful logic table for certain applications. Or so, I am, or so it says in the book. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, anyway, we'll move on to the next one, because this one's not working. It lets you have a priority input. Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't even and, know what it's called. And have a secondary input. That's it's, really cool. It's just an or, and, not, and, and. I don't know, I don't know. If it, that's what it was in the book. It was a bit of a weird one. That's why I decided to include it. Yeah, well, it allows you it allows you to specify something just as a breaker, or God, there'd be all kinds of cool stuff you could do with that. Mm. So the next one in the list is obviously negative XOR, which is basically just the same as the XOR that I showed a minute ago with a knot on the end. You know, so there you go, negative XOR, and it works. Yep. Hang on. So, and then here we have the compact negative XOR, <laughs> which is a 2x2x2, two by two by two, yeah, uh, with the red light indicating the output by contact, yeah, so basically you don't need these end blocks, but, you know, they're cosmetic, but they basically just show that it nice. works. Right. Very and, small. Oh, nice, an RS nor. And now we get on to Andy P's contribution. <laughs> so, 
So basically we've got the RS nor. So here we go, we've got A and B. So both off, unchanged. If you want to do the honors, I'll call it out. So at the moment it's not nor. Not one. Oh. Uh. So anyway, uh, it does work because he's used it for stuff. I'm just not showing it. Yeah, offline. I'm. I'm sure. Other, you know. Oh, when you have an actual logic-wise, you'd be wiring this thing so the exactly would hit both of them at the same time. Yep. He he should maybe include a include a third input button that goes into both. And then we have the RS NAND, which again is basically the same. But you can cut and paste these into your uh, designs. We don't. You know, if you know what these are, they're quite advanced levels, so, like I say, I don't think it's necessary. I can just show that it is actually doing something, yeah, and that's enough to Yeah, these little RS were perfect for making uh, Minecraft minecart stations way back in the day. There we go, look. So I can hit it as many times as I want on this side, it's not going to do anything. I have to hit the other side, let it change. Okay. And that would be the RS NAND from Andy P. I'd love to demo it more, but like I say, it's like, yeah. I don't want that, people that to glaze over. A, this kind of thing lets you have a default set of behavior unless a certain condition has been recently met. And, mm. and that's pretty handy to have. And look how small it is, though. That's yeah, what gets me tiny. about all of these. All of these are tiny. Like, they can, you know, I, I've, yeah. Anyway, moving on.